let's have a look at question two here. We have five people who vote about how to spend the afternoon together. There's three options, swimming pool, library, and bar. The options are, the, the preferences are given as follows. John and Jim prefer this way, right? S over L over B. The other three guys prefer B over S over L. Now in part A, what is, sorry, if they use the majority rule and they vote sincerely, what's the outcome? So first of all, if they use simultaneous voting, meaning that they vote their most preferred options, what would be the result? Well, John and Jim would vote for S, so we would have two votes for S, and the other three guys would vote for the bar, B, B, B. That's the most preferred option. So we have three votes for the bar, meaning that bar would win with simultaneous voting. So that's for simultaneous. Simulta that's enough, simultaneous. Now, uh, what if we do pairwise? Because we have three options, meaning we can have three sets of choices. Let's see what the result would be in that case. So what would be the first set? Let's say S and L, right? Swimming pool versus library. Swimming pool versus library. Let's see what the results would be over there. Who would vote swimming pool? Uh, this one, John and Jim, S, S over L, S over L. Over here, Tom, S over L, right? Claire, S over L, Carla, S over L. So we would have five votes of S. So five votes versus zero, meaning that S would win. So the swimming pool goes. Now let's see the second, let's see the second set. We can choose between, for instance, L and B, library and bar, right? Let's see what the result would be over there. Hold on a second, let me zoom out this one. Library over bar. So, uh, library over bar, library and bar. Let's see what the results would be over there. Let's count L over B, John, L over B, Jim, and that's it. The remaining three guys would vote bar over L. All of them prefer bar over L. So we would have two versus three, two versus three over here, two versus three, meaning that bar would win. So bar would win. Now one more set, that's S versus B. That's the remaining, right? S versus B, swimming pool versus bar. Who prefers swimming pool? Well, John and Jim prefer swimming pool over bar, so we would have two. Now, who prefers bar over swimming pool? The remaining three, B over S in all three cases. So, bar would win. Now, what do we have in the second round? We can have only one more choice, that's S versus bar, and we just saw, we just saw that S versus bar, bar wins. So bar would be chosen both with simultaneous voting and with pairwise majority voting, pairwise. That's it. So hope this makes sense. Next video, part B.